and now the line that you're seeing this line exactly only does the entire program is around this one particular line it goes to amazon.com gets a search term and gives me okay and now and this the further code what i have you're seeing is i'm just beautifying things and uh, doing a validation and stuff like that so if you can see when i type c it said the best program for c is blah 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 and then you can see a few more buttons and options that i'm providing for the user when i say check other books okay and uh, oops, okay yeah see you can see it says oops i forgot what we were talking about how about this and i would like to tell you why it happened it's a good thing that it happened my bot forgot what we were talking about that's very bad right uh web crawl okay why you are not using web used web crawling in python well uh, uh because web crawling uh, as far as you know i've uh, people have told me uh, my uh, my company people over here and as far as i know web crawling is not a proper legal thing to do and because the api services are available for this cross only they are providing you free apis for you to use the uh, the resources on their website and uh, therefore the proper way of doing which i have been told and i have explored also is to actually use their apis if available if not then go for web crawling because uh, web crawling is not completely legal is what uh, uh, i i i have been told and i have been um, uh, experiencing okay let's get back to this when i said check other books it forgot what i am talking about that's a very bad thing my my bot is not functioning as i wanted why is it so the reason is the lex that we are talking about so what happens is uh, there is something in my uh, configuration that says that whenever the user does not type or does not interact with me for more than 5 minutes forget it just erase all the data inside you because let's let's uh, let's start again okay, let's uh, let me type python and it showed me a python book then i said check other books it went uh, and here are a few options you can see there are uh, uh, there are a few options on books on python that i am showing you guys and then uh, let's say what is the cost it costs around 26.16 dollars because i'm using amazon.com it's in dollars but if you if you really want we can convert it into inr also it's all in our python program and now if you guys can see here when we talked about c it gave the c book and then it said check when i typed check other books after quite some time it said i forgot what we were talking about but here it still remembers when i said the same thing i typed check other books it showed me other books and then i typed what is the cost it shows me what is the cost now why did it not work the first time and why is it working the second time because the program lex right if you can see i just typed python here and it got me this book and then i said check other books but did i mention check other books of python or did i say check other books of java i never said anything like that right but it still showed me only python related books why because it is right that right see when you are talking to a human just assume this as a human conversation and you are talking to some seller on on facebook you say i want to know about python books and he show he sends you one book then you say give me other books did you mention give me other books of python no right so similarly in your chatbot also you it is not necessary for you to actually mention each and every single thing you should configure and write your python program in such a way that it remembers what we are talking about when i said what is the cost what is the cost of what i never mentioned what is the cost of what i did i say what is the cost of python crash course cool and a hands on no i did not say when i said what is the cost it remembered that we are talking about the same python book and the cost of that book is 27.16 dollars uh, sorry 26.16 dollars and now i will say who 
is the author. And you can see, again, it says Eric Matthews. Okay, this is an, uh, what happened if you misspelled any word? That's a really good question, Perth. Uh, so uh, sometimes, you know, if it is a very, very common mistake, it will understand uh, and uh, 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 it will understand, but your, uh, your Amazon Lex, right? Your spelling mistakes and all these things are taken care in this Amazon Lex, not exactly on your Python code. So you have to do some machine learning, uh, which actually takes place behind this only. And we will try to understand as you keep using it, machine learning, it tries to understand that you're doing some spelling mistake and it will work. Okay, so I hope I have answered your question on what happens if you type a spelling mistake. Yes, it will not understand. Uh, let's see who is the author. Let's try this. See, it did not understand. It said, sorry, I did not understand what that means. Uh, try, okay, this, this double quote, it's showing like this. It says, try, suggest me a Java book. Okay, so it did not understand because spelling mistakes, uh, it should be intelligent enough to understand and it's quite a bit of, you know, coding and proper uh, machine learning and stuff like that to do it. And it is not impossible, it is possible, but it uh, takes time to actually achieve that level of uh, uh, thing. And now let me get back to the presentation to finally show you how exactly it worked. When the user typed Python on your mobile phone or your desktop, and it's called as the chat channel. What is a chat channel? It is nothing but the Facebook Messenger for us. For us, and then from Facebook, it actually went to AWS Lex, and after it went to AWS Lex, what it did is it understood that he's talking about a book, and if you see in this example. When I typed who is the A-U-T-H-E-R author, Lex did not understand that I'm talking about an author. And that is the reason it did not send it to Lambda. It actually did not go to my Python code. Okay, so only if Lex, only if this Lex understands what the user is typing, it will go to Lambda. Lambda is nothing but where my Python program is. And in this Python program, as I showed you, it takes Java or Python as the input and it will give you the list of books. Therefore, that is actually sent back to Lex, which is again sent back to the user. And you guys must be wondering what is this final block, uh, this, this green color block called as Amazon CloudWatch uh, that uh, I'm not talking about at all. Okay. So you guys know, as he, uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, are fans of cricket, cricket match or any, any, uh, you know, a sports. Okay. Uh, let's take cricket as an example because India loves cricket. In a cricket match, who are playing? It will be two teams playing and 11 members from each team playing. So at a time, uh, what will happen? Other than these two teams, there are two more extra people on the field, right? The two umpires who are present. What, are, what do they do? They actually don't do anything. They are not playing, they are not running, they're not fielding, they're not bowling, nor batting. They're not doing anything. But without them, can you imagine a cricket match happening? No, that's not possible. Compares are really important so that they, 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 look, after, they look after the game going properly, smoothly, without any problems. And this Amazon Cloud Watch that you're watching is very similar to an umpire. What it does is it looks after all these services, this Lex and Lambda. It keeps an eye on these things so that if anything in the future goes wrong, you can actually visit this Amazon Cloud Watch and ask them what actually went wrong. I hope you guys are understanding. What actually happens is this. CloudWatch will store logs about Lex and Lambda. That's all. So CloudWatch, you guys can just forget it. It's nowhere related to whatever we are doing. Uh, yes. Clear role metronym. Okay. So as you guys can see, this is how my chatbot actually worked. 
Okay, so one more doubt about API. Sir, if I want to make bot who calls cricket score, then will Crickbus website will share API to get the score. But my doubt is why will they share API with me? Because maybe this can cause decrease in their traffic. That's a really good question, uh, uh, Hemant. So this is exactly one question that I had when I was getting started with what is an API and uh, all those things. But to answer this question, just think of, uh, see, uh, let's take Amazon as an example. Okay. Uh, I, I'll come back, I come, come to the QuickBuzz example as well. Let's take Amazon.com as an example. We are using books, right? And uh, what normally happens, why are they providing the APIs is because you are actually having the uh, Amazon on your uh, Amazon API you are using in your chatbot application and you are displaying the details what is available on Amazon.com, correct? What happens normally is you actually redirect the user in this my example as well. See, you cannot buy books from my chatbot. I have not implemented that. Maybe we guys, we all of us can actually sit and work on it. See, when I searched for Python, this particular image came up. Actually, if I click on that image, I'm redirected to amazon.com where I can actually go ahead and add to cart or buy now or whatever I can buy from here. So what now normally happens is there's some, some program called as associate uh, sponsorship or I forgot the name. What it does is for redirecting users from your place to amazon.com, they will pay you. Okay, so uh, that is the reason the, uh, that is the whole reason why Amazon is actually providing their APIs. Okay, so that you can actually use, consume their APIs and redirect traffic into their website. It's more like not reducing their traffic. It's actually you're increasing their sales by using their own things in your things, right? I hope uh, the Crickbus thing, uh, sorry, uh, the API, why are they providing APIs? This is a very small example. There are multiple other reasons why, uh, uh, why they are providing the APIs. Uh, Yes, so and then for the Crick bus, is there an API for actually, uh, yeah, I think, good. How do I fetch real-time scores from Crick bus using Python? Aditya has shared a link on Quora. Uh, that's a really good thing. So uh, I'm really not sure if uh, Crick bus is providing an API or not, but I'm sure there are, there are other websites that actually provide you uh, scores. Um, you can you can consume those. I'm not really sure about uh, Crickbus, uh, Joel. Uh, yes. So getting back to this, uh, my chatbot. This is what I have done, and now I I just showed you I I uh, I showed you the code also, and uh, I will be sharing this link with you guys so that you can actually go ahead and. Uh, uh, get uh, and fork my repository or you can look into my repository for all the other things I have written a readme also and you guys can actually understand what to do there's a readme available as well you can fork it and start building over it if there are any questions you you guys can ask me I'll be more than happy to help on this book part. And now uh, uh, there is a one more small thing that I promised Arvind I'll be going through as well. Okay, there's this one more thing that I wanted to show you guys is the integration channels. This uh, uh, blue color thing, uh, yeah, this, this blue color thing that you see is the logo for AWS Lex. And currently you can connect your chatbot that you're building on AWS Lex onto Facebook Messenger and uh, you can also connect to slack uh, i don't know how many of you guys know slack slack is also a messaging platform and there's something called as twilio sms's that's also a platform where you can connect your chatbot that you've built on M amazon lex okay and now uh let us quickly before i uh you know, consume all of the time okay there's another question coming up uh, can I connect my bot to my website? That's a really good question, Hemant. Yes, you can connect your bot to your website. See, uh, the current slide that I'm showing you right now, it says that you can connect Lex to Facebook Messenger, Slack, and Twilio. Uh, I, of 